Today I want to address something that's been popping up a lot in my DMs and my emails and on Twitter and everywhere else. A lot of minors have stepped forward and are expressing how scared they are about getting exposed. I want to just say that no minors will be being exposed. The point of this isn't to get children in trouble, it's to save you guys. Whether you see it right now or not, this is all for you. This is all for your protection. This is all for your well-being. This is all for your mental health. This is all for your safety. I made a post specifically for these girls, but I want to say it like my face, my voice, like to you guys specifically. If you used this site as a young girl or even a young boy, and you were underage and you were manipulated, but you were technically there by your free will, you're not going to jail. Please don't be scared of coming forward and saying what happened and how you were treated and what truly goes on in those telegrams and whatnot. We already know what goes on. We already see it. It's basically public information now. A lot of girls are afraid because Nathan won't let them delete their accounts. And a lot of people have scattered trying to erase their accounts. The reason he's doing this is because he does not want to be singled out and he wants it to look like this healthy, flourishing community in which everyone is standing behind him. But that's not true. As a lot of these young girls are getting extremely scared and they're not even able to leave. So this is a message to all of the minors on that site right now. I understand what it's like to feel misunderstood and lonely and to find a community online which you feel like is your escape. I understand that you feel valued, you feel sexy, you're exploring your sexualities, which is totally okay. But what's not okay is a grown man to take advantage of that. In preteen years, teen years, even as young as 11, 12 years old sometimes, you get curious. It's not okay to be interacting with grown men because they're not looking to explore, they're looking to exploit you. I understand and I see the posts from a lot of you guys that you've been sexually abused at home. So you feel like, what's the difference? If anything, this normalizes it, this is your life and this is where, and this is just something that makes you feel comfortable. And a psychological standpoint of things, this is sometimes how people deal with trauma. They normalize it and they think that they deserve it. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't deserve it. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be treated right. You deserve to be valued. You deserve to be respected. This is a website ran by a man who believes that women should have no rights. I know the attention might feel nice. I was 12 years old once and I was troubled and I've gone through a lot of what you guys have gone through. I myself was a victim of a lot of sexual predators on the internet. I used to go on Tumblr when I was like 11, 12 years old and older men would message me all the time. And because I had a lack of love and affection in real life, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to feel wanted. Looking back now at 21 years old and a mother myself, I was not wanted the way that I thought it was. I was exploited and I was used. I always said, how could I be a victim if I was consenting? The same way a lot of you say, well, I asked for this, I'm gonna get in trouble. You are so young right now. You have no idea how harmful this website is. I don't think that any of these kids know that they're being used. I think that they genuinely believe they want it. I think you guys have been brainwashed. I think you guys have been manipulated. I think you guys are much like me in the sense where you think you're very mature and you know what you want, but it's impossible to know what you want at 11, 12, 13 years old. Even at 15 and 16, I still didn't know what I wanted. You guys will not be in trouble if you step forward and if you ask for help. It may seem really scary to speak up about this, and you might not want to go to authorities right now. You might not want to get anyone in trouble. You might be scared of Nathan. You might be scared of the people that you interacted with. And you might be scared of the consequences. But I'm not doing this to get you guys in trouble. This is a standing offer to any minor that was a member of that website. And any minor that was in that Telegram group chat. If you want to talk to somebody, and you have my word, I will not repeat it. A lot of girls have stepped forward so far. And unless they allowed me to share it or that they anonymously sent me something i did not disclose any private information but i know you guys are scared and i know you're confused and i know that you feel like you might not have anybody right now 
I'm here and I want to listen to you. you. I respect you. I want what's best for you. I want to help you and I want to protect you. This is all for you guys. Right now, you may think that you want this, but you have such bright futures ahead of you and you guys are so young. I know that a lot of you might claim that you like certain things and you might like the attention and you might be insecure so you like showing off your bodies and getting positive feedback and stuff like that, but you don't need that. Love yourself. Respect yourself. You do not want to be some grown man's sex toy. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be valued. You don't need to be scared of getting in trouble or disappointing a very grown man who is well aware of what he's doing to you guys. I recently just made a Discord server, which is extremely safe. I don't let anyone in without good reason as to why they want to be there. And I made it a safe haven for a lot of kids who are going through the same thing. And I am here for you and I want to help you because sometimes you can't always just get therapy and sometimes you don't have supportive parents. You don't know who to talk to and that's why I always started this channel in the first place is I'm someone who you can confide in and I can promise you that. Nathan does not love you, he does not value you, and he does not respect you. He does not want what's best for you, he actually wants you guys to stay to make him look better. He's using you guys. He uses your trauma and your terrible experiences for his own personal gain. He takes advantage of you and makes you send him pictures so that you can just be a part of a community. You don't need that community and you can we could start our own. I know it might be scary with all the commotion and petitions and stuff because I know that you guys are scared. I just hope at the very least you understand why I'm doing this and who I'm doing this for. Each and every one of you have the opportunity to turn this around. Grow from this, learn from this. Let this make you stronger. Let this make you smarter. You guys are survivors of something most kids don't usually go through. Spread awareness. Speak up. There's no need to fear a grown man who sits in his basement all day talking to kids as young as 11 years old. A motto I live by is we have to be the change that we wish to see. Speak up. Come to me. Confide in me. And we can work out the best solution for you. You can vent, you can cry, and we can work out a plan together to get you the help that you need. I'm here to support you and I will never turn you away. My goal isn't to get you guys in trouble. You are not the problem. The only members who will severely face consequences are the grown men who know exactly what they're doing. You guys have been manipulated and you guys have been used. I cannot express that enough. I am so sorry for you guys and I genuinely wish that I could take your pain away. And I wish that you guys could understand how damaging this is and this will be for you guys. I was literally just like you and I felt like I had nobody and I felt because I consented to it and because I did it that it was my fault, but it's not your fault. Remember your age, as mature as you think you are, he's not treating you like you're mature. These men aren't talking to you and showing you so much attention because they think that you're mature. They like that you are children. They like that you are easily manipulated. You don't want that. You want more for yourself. And if you don't see it right now, I promise you will. And as for all the posts about Nathan asking someone to run away with him, that genuinely really scares me. I know that he's good at manipulating you guys. Um, please don't. Please do not run away with him. Please do not offer. Please do not give him any more information. Please stop sending him pictures. Please. He's a piece of shit. Who's gonna rot in hell? And all of you are so much better than that. You deserve so much more out of life than this. Really wanted to come on here and say that personally, that I'm here for you. I understand you. You're not gonna be in trouble. I want to be there for you. I am someone who can console you. I am someone who wants to protect you. I am someone who wants the best for you. I would not be working this hard or fighting this hard. I wouldn't do this for anyone but you guys. Regardless if you've made mistakes or not, you've been put in a really awful situation. It is not your fault. Please don't be scared to talk to me and do not hesitate to reach out. 
I'm going to leave a link to the Discord and all of my contact information below. And I'm also going to leave a couple hotlines and other ways that you can look for support if you don't feel comfortable coming to me. Please understand that I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. And this video is coming from the bottom of my heart. Because I really understand. And I know what it's like to not feel a part of anything. And to seek that in really inappropriate and terrible ways like you guys. And men like Nathan and the people who use that website, they prey on that. They use that. They exploit that. And they make you think that this is the way that life is. And it's not. Don't look at me as someone who's just trying to take away your safe place. I can make a better safe place for you. I can be someone you can rely on. I can be there for you. I know that you guys have been messaging me a lot. That you're scared to come forward or your friends are scared to come forward or you feel uncomfortable or Nathan's being mean and everything going on in the telegram and a lot of stuff. I will never turn you away. Please understand that I care so much. Thank you for watching and I hope you spread this around. And Nathan, if you're going to post anything, post this. These kids do not deserve that. Thank you for watching.